Today, I'm happy to announce that I'll be training with Nike for the 2019 Chicago Marathon. For those of you who have been around the channel for a while now, you'll remember that I trained last year with Nike ahead of the 2018 Chicago Marathon, and it was an amazing experience. Uh, not only did they get me a bib to run in the race, uh, which I wouldn't have been able to run that marathon if it wasn't for Nike, they also gave me a lot of gear, access to Nike events over the summer in preparation for the marathon, and just overall an unforgettable experience uh, not even once in a lifetime. It was even rarer than that. Something beyond what I could ever have imagined me doing with a brand like Nike. Um, but this year, again, I got an invitation to uh, run and train with them ahead of the 2019 Chicago Marathon. And I, of course, jumped right at the opportunity and said yes. Uh, this year, I do already have a bib. Uh, I'll be running with Salute Inc which is a local charity that helps military veterans as they transition from their military service back to civilian life. I'll post links in the description in case you'd like to learn more about what that charity does for the local area here. Uh, but I already have a bib, but they're, this year going to be providing the same, giving me lots of gear support, shoes, uh, but this year, the additional thing that I'm super excited about is they're going to provide me with some training assistance. So uh, it's something that I think that I'm at the point where I could definitely use someone to help push me and kind of guide me from where I've come so far to get me to hopefully that next level. Not only are they doing that for me, but there's a total of four of us that are going to be taking this journey together to document our non-elite marathon preparation and training journey. Uh, and the four people are me, then there's also Lauren of Pencil Skirts and PR, Hannah of Hannah Marguerite, and then there's Akisha of She's Got a Show. And the four of us together are gonna to be documenting our training journey and our marathon race uh, as uh, embedded media, I think is probably the best way to put it. And so to kick off, kind of this training journey. They had an event on Thursday morning. Uh, when we got there, they had a rep from Nike talking to us specifically on that day about the PEG 36 and the PEG turbos. Now I feel pretty good about my understanding of those two shoes, but it's always really great to be able to hear directly from Nike reps themselves uh, in terms of what Nike positions and thinks about uh, when they're making these two shoes. And she also had uh, kind of those exploded shoes where you could see all the different components of it. So I got to hold like a full like Zoom Air Pocket, uh, which I unsuccessfully tried to do last year with my PEG 35s after uh, I was done with those. We also got a whole bunch of great swag, uh, which I will go over. So uh, back to what happened on Thursday. Uh, we then head out for uh, a quick workout. So we went from the Edge Athlete Lounge, which is really close to the 606 Trail uh, here in Chicago, which is a very popular place for runners in addition to the lakefront. And uh, we did a little bit of a uh, tempo workout. Uh, it was gonna be more than four, but we ended up, because of weather, only getting in four by 800 meter uh, repeats at about uh, my goal half marathon pace. I was running with Lauren and the other two ran with uh, Griff, who is uh, working with Nike for the summer. And also Coach Robin was there. Uh, she jumped in for a couple of the reps as well. Uh, she did one of the 
reps. Uh, I think maybe not my last one, my second to last one uh, with me. So I got to spend a little bit of time talking to her there. Um, so that was a lot of fun to be able to do that, get out there, run with other people uh, at a fast pace. That's not something that I normally do. I spend most of my time running alone uh, and I usually prefer it that way, but every once in a while it is nice to be able to run with some other people. So then we had some lightning coming in, so uh, we packed it in early and then headed back uh, to, to, the, uh, to the gym, Edge Athlete Lounge. Um, and um, there they had some smoothies ready for us. And they, were, uh, they had asked us the night before like what we prefer, what kind of protein, what kind of milk, and which flavors we wanted. So that was really nice and thoughtful. Um, and when we got there, they had nice like inspirational messages uh, written on, on the glasses and everything like that. That was very cool to kind of show kind of how I'm not really uh, used to doing a lot of the uh, Instagram-y kind of stuff. There, everyone had their um, post-workout smoothies or shakes. And uh, I just started chugging mine down. I thought it was delicious. Um, and I just started, and it was really, really cold, which was refreshing. Uh, everyone else was taking like pictures of theirs and stuff. And mine, if, if you look at any of the pictures that anyone else posted, everyone else's is full and mine is like all, almost gone because I was just, um, I guess being, I was being a little bit rude, but I, it was just really good. Um, so uh, I'm a little bit out of my element in, in a lot of ways, uh, and I'm gonna be out of my element. I think that's gonna be the theme kind of for the summer. Because before we did the workout as well, we did a whole bunch of drills. And uh, I usually will do some sorts of like strides, drills, like butt kicks, things like high knees like that before I'm gonna race like a, a 5K or I'm gonna do a mile time trial or I need like the Nike uh, pop-up races, things that are like super, super short and fast. Uh, but I really don't do them regularly. I don't really warm up. I use my run to wherever I'm doing the speed work as my warm up. So um, I felt a very off balance for a lot of those things, probably because I haven't been working certain of those muscles. Uh, but you know, just again, some I haven't done drills or warm up drills regularly for like 20 years. So uh, it's going to take some getting used to. I think I'm going to have to start doing that again uh because we went to friday from there uh, i did do about a five mile run a very easy pace a recovery pace because in between my friday morning run and my thursday workout with uh with the group uh, i did have a 13 and a half miler in there trying to finish out the beacon two uh review and get that over 100 miles so i had a bunch of miles in there and so friday afternoon i had a meeting set up with coach robin to go over uh, my marathon training plan um we talked a little bit about how my legs were feeling. I was like, I'm pretty much trash right now. So she put me right into some recovery boots, uh, which was pretty awesome. I've never done anything like that before. Uh, it's kind of like if you like compression stockings or massage after a hard workout, uh, it's kind of like that, but to the next level, uh, maybe even two levels up. It's crazy. So what it does is it inflates and um, it pushes pressure on your entire lower extremities. And the way that these particular ones work, my understanding now is that some of them work a little bit differently, is that it like sequentially inflates and deflates, not like quickly, but like over time. So it's kind of like pushing the stuff from your lower extremities, flushing it back up to the main core of your system. So that way anything that's stuck like down towards your toes is not gonna stay there or in your calves or your ankles is gonna get pushed back up so you get flushed out of the system. So it's kind of the same concepts of a recovery run uh, where you want everything flushed uh, is happening, but while you're sitting down with literally your feet up. And so that was pretty cool. So I did that for a really long time uh, while we were talking about our training plan. So that's the main difference this between this year and last year is this year I've given a coach uh, my PRs, my running history, what my mileage has been like and what my goals are. And, and she took all that information and constructed a training plan specifically just for me, which is super exciting. And something that I've been really thinking that I might need to do in the future, um, but the opportunity has presented itself now with the support and backing of Nike. And of course, I'm gonna jump into that. And so we went over that uh, while I was in the recovery boots. And so she has constructed a 12 week training plan for me, which I completely agree. I think that's the perfect number for someone that's been running regularly, especially someone that's been running year round and has run multiple marathons before. I think 12 weeks is the right number. Uh, I've seen other training plans that are like 18 weeks long. And that's just too much time. Uh, I think to be focusing on one race for me, for me. And, and that's not mostly physically, it's mostly mentally. Um, but, uh, 12 week plan is great. And that's about the full extent of the things that we would like 
agree on in terms of the mar marathon training plan. The things that are different are she's taking me down a whole bunch in terms of my mileage, um, which um, I've always felt like I'm not a particularly talented runner. And for me to get results, I need to run like 20%, 30%, 40% more than an average runner would have to run to get a certain time. And so that makes me really concerned. There's a lot more speed work in there, which I like running fast, so that's good, uh, but it's very structured. Tuesdays are gonna be um, tempo days. Thursdays are gonna be speed workout days. Those are gonna be the hardest days. And then Saturdays are gonna be long run days. Um, and there's also gonna be a mandatory recovery day, just complete day off on Sunday. And then there's also strength training on Monday and Wednesday, in addition to some recovery running those days. So uh, I normally uh, avoid all strength training pretty much at all costs. I don't think that most people need it, um, but I think maybe I'm at the point that I need it. So a lot of things that I'm not used to doing that are different than how I've been doing things and how I feel like I've gotten some pretty good results myself. In my mind, mentally, I know that I need something that's gonna be a little bit different than what I've been doing, I think, to get me past that three hour barrier. And so for this is the first time I've kind of talked about it um, ever on the channel, um, but there was kind of some, a lot of you guys were mentioning in the comments after the tunnel marathon earlier this June, uh, that where I got close to, to the three hour mark. And for the Chicago 2019 marathon, I am definitely gonna be chasing that three hour barrier. Um, so uh, I put down, when I put down kind of my running goals for this training plan, I put 259.59 as my goal. So definitely gonna be chasing three for October. I'm a little bit excited about that. I'm very concerned about it as well. Um, we went over kind of my marathon progression. 2017 uh, for Chicago, I was at 342. 2018, I was at 317, a huge improvement. 2019, just a couple of months ago, I ran a 301 uh, at the Tunnel Marathon. Now that was, there's a big asterisk by that one because that was a 2,000 feet point to point downhill race. Um, so I think that more realistically puts me at 305, 306. Um, but still, even at 306, even if you want to push it out to 307, 308, still a lot of improvement that I've had over the last two years. Uh, and I was telling you that, you know, I'm 39. I'll be 40 in November. Um, I don't know how much more room there is for improvement. And she had some very nice things, very encouraging things to, to tell me about that. But it's definitely something that I'm gonna jump in with two feet. I'm going to, uh, I may have my concerns about it, but I'm gonna give 100% to it. On the days that it says to do stuff, I'm gonna do the stuff. I'm gonna do the strength training or the cross training. I'm gonna take the recovery days, which is gonna be really hard for me to do. I mean, I take recovery days, but usually they're on accident. Um, because life gets in the way and I just can't get a run in that day. So that's usually when I take a recovery day. Um, but I'm going to plan on Sundays off starting next week, not this Sunday, but starting the plan doesn't start till Monday. But um, so I'm going to do all those things. Uh, I'm going to dive in two feet. After Coach Rob and I had finished talking, she still wanted me to sit in the recovery booth for a little while. So I was texting my wife about it, telling her about my thoughts and she was like just make sure you're jumping in two feet and and i was like i texted her back a picture of myself in the moon boots and i'm like i'm in i'm fully in i'm in as far as a person can go i'm up to my crotch in it so um i'm looking forward to the plan i'm looking forward to trading with nike over the summer full disclosure um as you guys know i do like to give full disclosure uh on everything where it, i think it's relevant um nike's not paying me i'm not sponsored by nike by any means i am getting a lot of the freebies that i mentioned before uh but no money's exchanging hand they're not paying me to make videos there's no expectation that i'll make you know x number of videos or do x number of like hashtag plugs or anything like that so um it's kind of loose there's obviously some uh I feel obligated in a lot of ways to do stuff for Nike because they're doing a lot of stuff for me. Uh, but I think it's a, it's a collaborative journey. Um, I'm certainly getting a lot more out of it than they are. I said that last year for last year running with Nike. Uh, and I think this year is definitely gonna be the same. It's gonna be an interesting and wild 12 weeks, I think. Um, and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the entire journey. 
and I hope you guys will enjoy it. Before I go though, I will go over just some of the stuff that's in here uh, for those of you guys who are interested in what all the swag was. First thing was they gave me this really awesome bag. Uh, it's an Air Force One winterized bag. It's one that I've actually been eyeing on the Nike website for a while. Uh, I know it's kind of more of like a women's tote, but when you live in a city and you got two kids, totes are unisex as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and I really like this one, super comfy straps that are a little bit stretchy molly attachments everywhere uh that's m-o-l-l-e don't get excited guys uh and they even personalized it with uh the chicago marathon 2019 logo um and my name on it which i thought was um a really nice touch and i appreciate that very much so let's go over some of the swag some of the stuff that i'm really excited about uh this year this is a pair of shorts that i think after i made the iphone uh, running with your phone video a lot of you guys were talking about this pair of shorts specifically or shorts similar to it this has a, a line short uh, with a very thin outer shell material but zipper pockets so the phone will bounce around a little bit in this pair of shorts but at least they won't bounce out because they have the zipper pockets and there is a little bit of a zipper pocket in the back uh, this one's not quite big enough to fit a phone but you could stash some stuff in the back there uh, so this will be a nice pair of shorts I'm looking forward to. We've got a lot of Technic is what they gave me, which I'm pretty excited about. Right now it's super hot in Chicago. Yes, I know it gets hotter in other places in the world. I don't know how you guys do it. I, every time I talk about heat on the channel or on Instagram or on Twitter, you, someone from somewhere hotter always chimes in. Yes, I don't do that to you guys when it's cold but you guys always do it to me when it's hot. But anyway, uh, Technet, I think this one, well, obviously it's a long sleeve, um, but uh, so I won't be wearing it now, but this material, it's thin and it feels kind of cotton-ish, but it's almost like a mesh if you look at it, the way that it's um, somewhat transparent when you stretch it and hold it up to the light. So I think this is gonna be, do a really good job of keeping me warm uh, when it's cooler out so I can run with just uh, like a long sleeve and rather than having to put on a jacket yet. Um, I'm kind of putting, pulling things out randomly. They had it really nicely organized when we were there, but I'm pulling things out kind of randomly now. Um, we got some socks, some uh, crew length socks, which um, always can use more socks. And then in terms of running socks, though, have more of the Nike Elite lightweight socks. Uh, I love the Nike socks. I don't have any ones that are like this one before. So um, looking forward to trying these on because um, I like the Nike Elite socks generally. Those are some of my favorite. And then another thing they sent me was, speaking of the running with a phone video, they sent me one of their waist packs. So I'll be giving this one a try. My wife has one and she loves hers. Uh, hers is bright yellow. This one is black, which suits me a little bit better. Um, so very excited to see how this functions. Hopefully I can fit my iPhone and a couple of gels and my keys in there as I'm running in the summer. And then let's go. We think we got some more of the, we've got some more of the tech weave here, uh, or tech knit, and we've got a shirt. So like a short sleeve version of that other long sleeve shirt. Um, I think this might be a little bit hot for like, like the hottest hot parts of the summer. Um, but I think this is going to be a really great shirt to run in. Um, it has kind of like what Nike's been doing with a lot of their clothes. Instead of having like a straight hem along the bottom of the shirts, they have this kind of like, um, I don't know how you call this uh, stitching technique here where there's like a little bit almost of a flap. And what I like about that is that it seems to let more heat out because uh, it kind of flaps as you run. So it lets a little bit more heat out of the bottom of the shirt, which I think helps keep things nice and cool. And uh, I just like this shirt. It's one that I've been thinking about picking up anyway. So I'm very excited that I didn't pick it up already because uh, now I have one. So very excited about that one. We've got a pair of blue shorts, which I'm not a huge fan of blue shorts, blue sh Nike shorts specifically. And I have a long history of making it look like when I'm sweaty that I've peed my pants. So I will try these. We'll see how they go. What I, I think is interesting about this, we'll see if I can fit a phone back here, but it's not a zipper pocket in the back. It's kind of a more of a stash pocket. So maybe I, it looks like I might be able to fit a phone in there, but maybe a good place for some gels or keys. Otherwise there's just regular slide in pockets on the side. It's a little bit longer of a short than I would normally pick for running, but it's got a very comfortable liner in here. And uh, let's see. And sometimes on these shorts, there's a little bit of a key slot. Doesn't look like there is uh, for this one, but 
nice reflective that like floral uh, I don't know what the technical name is for it. I'm sure there's a technical name but that floral kind of Nike swoosh bouquet right here which seems to be their uh, emblem that they're using frequently in a lot of the stuff for this year I do like here there is like a cutout part that is mesh that's gonna really help with keeping these pants stay a little bit cooler so we'll see how the blue color works um, next we've got uh, more of this technet this one I also really like. It um, looks a little bit different than the last one. It's got more of like a checkerboard pattern to it, uh, but similar cut along the bottom where it's got that flap. And uh, I like this like dark gray on dark gray. Very good, I like that a lot. And this shirt I think feels like it's gonna be a little bit cooler to wear than the other one. So this is one that I think uh, we'll get a little bit more summer use than the other tech that, that I've showed you guys so far. And the last two things that are in here are this pair of shorts. This is one that I've actually been eyeing. Now for 2019, the singlets that the elites have been wearing that are like half like this colorful print and then half a solid color, I got to admit, I'm not a huge fan of that. When it's fully the crazy pattern though, this works for me. It's got um, a zipper pattern in the back, or a zipper, zipper pocket in the back. Definitely not big enough for an iPhone. You're only gonna be able to fit, fit keys, maybe gels in there. It does have some pockets. Um, I don't think that a phone's gonna really work in there. So this is one, if I do run with this one in the summer, um, I'm gonna have to wear that Nike waist pack with in order to carry all my stuff. And so, um, very excited about these shorts. This does have also a little key slot on the inner lining. So these shorts, I think, will get a lot of mileage out of me for the summer because uh, a pattern like this, I could sweat in in a bunch. It's not gonna really look like I peed my pants. So a, a core feature that I look for in a running short. And then the thing that I'm probably most excited about is this Tech Pack singlet. Now this material uh, is different than a lot of the material that I've seen from the Nike Summer Collection so far this year. A lot of the Nike running stuff this year from the Summer Collection, and I noticed it when I was out in Seattle and I visited the Nike store out there, is seems to be like almost like a cotton jersey mesh kind of material, which I don't think is all that sweat wicking or that great with heat. Um, so I was a little disappointed in some of the regular 2019 collection. I'm hoping for some, some hits with the 2019 Chicago Marathon gear. But this jersey, I think, is amazing. Uh, the material is a lot like the Aeroswift singlet that I raced the Tunnel Marathon in, that I love that singlet. Um, so it's very similar to that. Uh, it's got like micro perforations in it. I don't know if you can see that here, um, that keep the air flowing. And uh, it's really just a minimal singlet. It's got extra reinforcement along, you know, all the armholes and neck holes to keep things um, in the right shape. And it's got a little bit of a reflective strip along the back. And again, a dark gray swoosh on the lower left-hand side on a black singlet. That's just about perfect. Um, so this one, I, this is probably gonna be my race singlet. Um, for the marathon just because I think it's absolutely beautiful and uh, I'm very excited to get into that one. So that's everything that's in the bag. Uh, thank you to Nike for providing all this great gear. I'm looking forward very much to running in all of it. Uh, overall about the experience, I'm feeling immensely grateful, very excited, a little bit concerned because there's gonna be so much work ahead, uh, but I'm going to look forward to it. I'm gonna dive into it fully, enjoy it, do my best, and uh, of course, I'm gonna be bringing you guys along for the ride. Uh, sorry this video has been so long, but thanks so much for making it all the way to the end, and I will see you guys in the next one. Yo, what's going on?